James, welcome to Brooklyn. Ryan, good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, James, I, I got to say, I think one of the things that has always stood out to us is your physicality, your toughness. How would you describe the importance of that, you bringing that to a team that has championship aspirations? Um, it, it just allows me to be who I am. You know, I don't have to, no pressure of being the, the guy or the scorer or the, <laughs> the team to stop you. Know? Yeah. Just go in there and fill in my role and, and do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, well, what is it like for you coming to a new team? And, of course, so every player that has sat down talked about championship and cha championship aspirations. Uh, for you to integrate yourself and acclimate yourself, what is that process like? Um, Sarah, it, it's different. You know, everybody always says your goal at the end of the year is to, to be in the championship or to win a championship. But when, it, when it's really realistic and you have guys, a group of guys who really sacrificing everything to win this year, you know, you can just feel it in your heart that you do whatever it takes to, to get that done. James, w when you look at you know, the stars that are on this team with uh, Kyrie Irving and James Harden and Kevin Durant. What are the things that excite you most about their games and, and getting to be on the floor with them? Um, the floor is going to be spaced, you know. <laughs> it allows everybody to um, operate at an easier, easier um, rhythm level, everything. What about y your presence defensively? Some other guys, Sean Mark sat down with us and was talking about areas that he has tried to short up the gaps in the roster, looking at it the way the team played last year, and defense was a major part of that, you being one of those guys. How much, whether it's your voice, by example, the way you're playing, how much can I you help bring the level of play on that end of the floor, um, whether guys are in the lineup, out of the lineup, whatever the rotation looks like, uh, just to have that be an added mainstay for this group to keep improving mm -hmm. on? Yeah, I was fortunate to, to be coached by some really great coaches. And, you know, the defensive aspect's always been the reason why I got on the floor, you know, to even show my offensive presence mm -hmm. or whatever. So, you know, I think the knowledge of knowing where to be makes the game a lot easier. I feel all of us are vet veteran players. We know the game pretty well. You know, we know when Steph is coming down, he's going to come out one of the wings or one of the corners. You know, just things that um, you have to play to know a little bit. How about, James, when you have, a, you know, a lot of veterans, and I, we talked about this earlier with, um, I think we talked about it with Paul Millsap. It was one of the, or maybe LaMarcus, one of the veterans here who's accomplished, like yourself. And you go in and you look at the roster and you know, okay, like, I, I'm, I'm not going to play 30 minutes a night. I know that. How much of an adjustment is it mentally to know my role, what I may need to do on this team is to give them seven good minutes or, or I may not play for a week or maybe some nights I'm playing 25. How difficult is it to accept that or, or, or how do you kind of, you know, process that? I mean... Eight years, seven years, J.J. would have been a little bit more disappointed, but 13 <laughs> years, James, is, is good spirits, happy, blessed to be here, and uh, like I said, fill in any role that needs to be filled in for any game. What does that mean to a team? I mean, y you've been on so many different iterations of teams and groups, and I'm sure some had differing levels of chemistry and, and connectivity, uh, but to have so many guys, and, and you're not the first to sit down and just say whatever the team needs to win, when, when that is real in a genuine feeling, what impact does that have on the ultimate group or through the season when, when you are going through some of the highs and lows? I think I think that kind of attitude is just contagious. You know, when we're not playing or the, we don't get the minutes we want, you know, I, I feel we're old enough, mature enough to know we have to work, get that extra conditioning in. It's something that no one's going to have to tell us, you know. It's going to be an easy peace of mind, I feel. Yeah, you talk about uh, playing for some great coaches in this league. Eric Spolstra obviously is a coach who has a wonderful reputation, who's been at the helm for a long time in Miami. If you were going to think to your time there and say what's one thing that stays with you that you learn from Coach Spo, what would it be? Um, he taught me how to um, act like a champion before I was a champion. Mm. Interesting. And it, it, what about that specifically? I mean, would he drive home? I mean, off court on court, the way I work, the way I eat now, everything is about becoming or, or being a champion before I'm a champion. The cuisine has changed a lot, the dietary choices? I mean, yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been paleo for about two years, but it, it gets harder in New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> James, you just said the buzzword. Are you still paleo? Uh, no, no, no. I, 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 it's hard. Like, while, like James, yeah. I know. It's hard in New York. <laughs> I agree, it's tough. James. It's Some tough, are more man. dedicated and committed than It's others. tough. Yeah. Maybe, you know what? You just you, you get that stretch of three or four days off, and you, you go not paleo for a day. You yeah, know? I hear that. Yeah, you, you just got to pick your spots, right? <laughs> I hear that. Seriously. I hear that. Well, James, we are uh, we're so excited to, to have you here. Congratulations on joining the Nets. Looking forward to uh, the start of this season. Thanks for joining us. For sure. Thank, Thank you. you.